In the name of Jesus, I want to declare life over Nigeria. Can we unmute our mics right now and begin to declare those last words? There's just power in it. Nigeria, leave. In the name of Jesus, God has put the word in our mouth. Now we can declare over Nigeria. Nigeria, leave. Can we open our mouth and begin to pray? Where you guys not noisy, can you unmute it and say, Nigeria, leave. Nigeria lives in the name of Jesus. Nigeria lives in the name of Jesus. Nigeria lives in the name of Jesus. Nigeria lives. Nigeria lives in the name of Jesus. Nigeria live 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 in the name of Jesus. Come alive, come alive, come alive. In the name of Jesus. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive, come alive, come alive. In the name of Jesus. Come alive. Come alive, come alive, come alive. Come on, come on, come on. Nigeria lives. In the name of Jesus. I padash in the name of Jesus. I padash in the name of Jesus. I I padanika, I adosho kodo shekedi. Live, live in the name of Jesus. I padoshi katara padoshi tesi. I padasha kado shekedi. I padasha kada shadosi. I nara kade se parada. I padasha kado shekedi padasha tosi. Thank you, God. In Thank Jesus' you, God. name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, something crossed my mind, but we have to do very, we're going to do it as brief, briefly as possible. I want us to celebrate Jesus. I want to celebrate the victory of Jesus in your life. Now, not on material things, the victory of Jesus. Um, anybody like God, God has dealt with you and you're looking at it. It was a pain, it's painful, but you're thankful for that. Let me give an instance. I am so thankful to God for how he protects me for myself. How do I mean? There are things that I wanted to, you know, go into. There are things that, and I thank God for how he, delays me from getting ahead of myself and delivering me. I think of how he always is always showing, he's always concerned about my motive. And now I realize it's purity. I was telling you about this book. Um, Sister, um, I think she's on the call. Sister Lubukola, is it possible to put that 
book. I thought about it for a long time. Like, God, what do you, but a lot of people don't have access to it. And I, I feel like, you know what? Um, can you ever put it on a link? So I'll put it on me too, Mike. Can you let me know? Whilst I'm speaking now, is it possible to put it on a link? Okay, I'll do that now. Yeah. All right. I think you can put it on maybe we transfer something. I don't know. So that okay. we can we can just thank you so much, Sel Bokka. I'm grateful. All right. So and I want us to read this book together. Is one of the things we're going to um I was going to go continue our conversation book of Ruth, but I'll get any minute. Um I want us to spend time to read this book and we're going to be discussing it. It's interesting. It's part of what, what we're doing in June by the grace of God. I'm really excited about it. Um, the purity of our giftings, the purity of what God has called us to do. And you see, what it's been is one or two times I've read a book that I could not read it. Like I literally was keep, I kept shutting it. I kept saying, Oh God, I am I'm I'm not crazy. I'm not because there's some nuances, some things that has been on my heart, some questions I've had, some things that I see, and I'm wondering, am I the only one that saw that? I'm worried, and sometimes I've been to pray on God, my heart, my heart. But reading this, I'm like, God is calling us back to purity. The way we have done things, the way we live our lives, the way we, you know, carry out even the supposed ministries, businesses, things that God has given to us. There is this program that was going on, that is going on, I think the Repairers of Nation. I'll be speaking today, Pastor, um, what's his name? Pastor um dami spoke and what he talked about the fast people are fasting in, in the scripture um um i'm talking about how people are fasting and god was as that kind of fast i asked you for i'm asking for justice i'm asking for so a lot of us can get into activities you know first corinthians 13 says that if you like give your life up as a metire if you don't have love, you just wasted your life. You're like, Professor, let it be accurate, dot, dot, dot. In fact, let it be so accurate that they call you accuracy. If you don't do it in love, you're prophesying, but you're only people in unforgiveness. You are mean to your employers or employee. You are not you are not living the right life in your home. I mean, if we need to just go back to read what love is and our giftings operate best at love. So what I'm saying this morning about this, I'm just giving people to... At best, we're going to do two, two minutes and all. So I would just say, and, and what, what are we celebrating this morning? I want to celebrate the victory of God over ourselves, over our flesh. I don't know. I didn't anyway, just came to my spirit. So I really want to thank God. I remember, okay, thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God for the gift of perspective. I remember in 2017 when, when God really Unveiled. I mean, when French Pray is going to be 16 this year, I calculated it. It's up to 17 this year. When French Pray is 16 this year, in the next three weeks, on the 10th of June, when French Pray will be 16. And, you know, after a while, it felt like mm, 16. I just, like, God is just, I'm, is bringing in my MC 16, not six, not six weeks, not six days, not six months, not six years, not six period, 16. And almost 200 editions, like over 100 and something editions. It means let it sink in. And I thank God for delivering myself of trivializing some of these things. And like, you know, it can become so easy. And you just think that, oh, wow, I'm grateful to God for every moment. But, you know, your desire for more that truncates how far God has brought you or minimize or belittle what God has done for you is no longer desire for more. His borderline covetousness, his ungratefulness is a mixture of so many things. And I thank God for always delivering me from it. And I know that. Is giving me such a great drive, but is to be subjected to him. So I thank God for that. 2016, 17, when, when the Lord really, in the day of social media, true when friends pray, like it was a thing. And I was looking at someone who was speaking to me recently, and we just seen a lot of people to the glory of God doing great stuff. I've seen a lot of people have passed through when friends are like, wow, what a great, you know. I thank God that now I have perspective. Back then, I was really excited that, yes, Lord, the nation, some strange things were happening from June, from August 2017. 20 November 17th, some crazy things. There was a prophetic word. Um, somebody blessed me openly and opened me up to, I was receiving credit alerts. I kid you not, so almost every week in 2018, like it went on for a long time. That when I went to give my test, when I went to Shiloh in 2018, I could not believe what I was doing vis-a-vis -vis where I was coming from. I mean, it was just crazy. But one of the things that happened was that how I thought, and then I entered a season where it felt like there was a slowdown. Uh-uh. I thought what's going on, God was happening, but I thank God for perspective because 
eventually I realized there was a prophetic word to that effect. There was what God was doing. The promise was not a state. The promise was the goal was not you will do bigger things. I will, you, you will reach more nations. You will thought that's not the goal. The goal is still Jesus. How he chooses to do it is his prerogative. My own is to respond, do the best I can and dream with God. Not dream for God, dream with God. There's a difference between dreaming for God and dreaming with God. Dreaming with God, purify my dreams and ensure that it's God. I thank God for that because I thank God for the fact that eventually I remember when I went to Golosai speaking to me, Again, there was a season 2019, wow. And then I said, wow, <laughs> Africa Radic, wow. Let me see. It was this season, it was massive from 2018, 2019. You know, meetings. I'm like, yes, no, okay, 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 God. And then COVID. And then there was this, you know, we're just about to go for a European nation um, tour 2020. Just before then, I was dragging my feet. Thank God I did. Lockdown happened and everything. And I thank God that 2021 again, yes, Lord. And then there was this style, and there was a pullback. I kid you not. And I thank God for giving me perspective because I've gone to some places in this year that it was before, and even me, I'm shocked at what God did. I'm looking at my, I'm it's like out of body experience. I remember vividly Arizona. He was I'm like, I've seen people really thank God for what the move of God in, in meetings and what God does through my life and he's doing. I thank God. This one was uncanny because I'm telling you old, young, white, black, different human beings, some bitch, like the, I was having cards. I was still just throwing cards at me. I, I, I want you to this. I want, but I thank God that I realized that I've grown this time around. And to be honest, all this other time was excitement and the zeal to want to do great things for God. But I thank God that I always pray that God, not my will, your will. I thank God for giving me the wisdom for always crying out, even for starving my flesh. I love the way Pastor Shekin puts it. The Lord keeps disappointing my flesh. That that's the way God delivers you. So in fact, God is blessed, doing you a great favor for disappointing your flesh. I thank God for every time he has disappointed my flesh. I realized that in Arizona this time around, I was, I was just excited for what God has done in the moment. I had no ex- zero expectation that tomorrow my, I'm, I'm getting calls. Oh yeah, so let's plan it. So when I knew, because before I went to Arizona, I just had another encounter with God, which the Lord has been trying to tell me since 2020, but I didn't understand properly. 2021, I had an encounter, I had a dream. I interpreted it in a, uh, yes, glory to God. But now I look back and I saw the Lord show me the circles of my life and I'm blown out things out. I've literally used to say before that, that's when I'm at the peak of things, God brings me that, oh yeah. Now I understand it. So when everything was brilliant, out, like the old scream and like it's somebody just entered town, I was just at rest and I gave glory to God. I knew what season I was in. I knew that this was just a testament of God's goodness and God showing me that me see I'm doing great things. I gave it to God, whatever I want to do with it. So when nobody is calling up to only one person, I said, you know what, next year I am at rest. I am not under pressure. I'm not like God, though, but they came and I thank God. And I thank God for another victory he gave me again this period in the last one week, the gift of perspective. For this reason, I thank God for always disappointing my flesh when it comes to the manifestation and the execution of his agenda for my life. I thank God for purifying my vision. I told you yesterday when he said, what did I really show you? I thank God for the gift and the grace to be audacious, to be who God has called me to be. And I thank God for always, you know, confirming his word, always and showing his faithfulness in my life. I don't know about you, but I pray to God that God will give anyone under the sound of my voice the gift of perspective, the gift of perspective, so that you stop fighting God, so that you can be at rest. I thank God for opening my eyes and I'm screaming at the rooftop about how people have been conditioned by social media and you have to come back. See, when I saw this guy, Jerry to break down, so I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. From social media to events, to worshiping God, taking pictures. Like, I mean, like you said, it's not so trying to be legalistic in terms of, oh, you can't, but the, we, we are mi- exactly what you said. People are missing moments, exactly what I've been saying. We are capturing moments, losing moments, the inappropriateness, making sacred worship. Imagine the Holy of Holies. Imagine Moses going to the Holy of Holies with, with picture. After a while, we are worshiping ourselves. Oh, 
I know we're saying, oh, glory to God. Like, I know we're excited, but hey, the wisdom and the balance of the spirit of this age, we need to keep partnering with God to ensure that our flesh is being disappointed. And the Lord God will give us, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. That is my own testimony. All right, Stella, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good, good morning, PI. Good morning. I, yeah, I really want to thank God uh, for, for my salvation, that I'm still keeping my salvation, that God is still with me. Hallelujah. I, I, I gave my life to Christ in 1989. This year makes it 34 years now. And I remember what I went through. I, I you know, in life, go through ups and downs, and that I'm still in Christ. I still mm. I, I thank the Almighty God for this. In 19 um in in 2018 I lost my daughter, and um, that thing shook me a bit. It was uh, it was not easy for me, but God mm -hmm. Almighty strengthened me, really 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 strengthened me, and I was able to move on. The way I even came out of it, people were so surprised because just mm -hmm. uh, a day after I went to service, I went to go and because I pastor a church then, I went to service to go and strengthen my people because I know when they heard, they, mm. they, when the news came, I know it will shake them. And ah, the pastor's uh, daughter, ah, oh, see the way she had been. So immediately like this, they, I lost her on Friday. On Sunday morning, I, wow. I was the first to be in church. When they saw me, all of them, you know, the, the news had started going around. Immediately they saw me like this. I now asked them, I said, put the picture of the girl on the on the screen. So I now told them, I said, if I could lose somebody like this, she was a lawyer and uh, Bido is sickler, but she was 41 years old then. And um, so when I lost her, I, I, I went to church and when they saw me, everybody, eh? she said, she said, how come? And I now say, put a, 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 a picture on the oh. screen. I said, if I could lose somebody like this, and I'm still standing, and I'm still here today, and I'm still keeping this salvation. I said, what Daddy Joe told us was that you could lose everything. I remember when he became a Christian newly. He said, when he was the one taking us school of disciples, he said, oh. please, your salvation is the most important. He said, this oh. whole world, you can lose the whole world. He said, but please maintain your salvation. Don't ever lose your salvation. And I came into that when this thing happened. Immediately it happened, the people in the hospital at Luth there, they were saying, ha, Habiyamo, Habiyamo, because every, every one of them knew she was a lawyer. They knew, they knew her age, they knew they saw her daughter and her husband and things like that. And, and they were just shouting, Habiyamo. And, and I was just saying, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. That was the only thing I was just shouting. And I was the one that took all our papers. I carried that to camp because it was a, it was a, a, a night of um, 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 the Holy Ghost. I, mm. I believe strongly that when she gets to the camp, she will wake up. I just carried that. Ambulance carried that. I would say, just take her to the camp. They said, no, let, mommy, let's take her. I said, no, she, this girl is not going to the mock. She's not dead. She's going. So by the time we got there, that the Jew ministered, everybody prayed around that. They did everything. And see, when she did not wake up, people say, they now came to me and said, mommy, let's take her to the mock. Please, mm. you have tried. You have oh. tried. You have tried. Let's take her. Let's take her. So I now release that. I said, that's, that's when I now came back home. Brethren, on Sunday, on Sunday morning like this, I just took myself to church. By the time I came back, the news was all over the place. All our classmates in law school, everybody, they started coming. And they saw how strong I was. They could not believe it. <laughs> Mommy, you are still standing like this. I said, they have heard that I could lose everything in this world. But my salvation is key. I must not lose it. Then oh. 2019, another thing happened again. 2019, I had one affliction that something started moving in my body. And not oh. only moving on my head as if the head wants to break, as if and oh. it will be turning to all kinds, as if it's turning to one kind of animal. I will feel cobwebs. Mm. I will feel this. I will feel prayer, prayer. I pray, pray for for good three weeks. I did not see sleep. I will oh. stand. I will be crying. I will be calling all the verses of the Bible I knew I caught. All the all the things on my head. I and the more I pray, the more I praise God, the more this thing will fight me. Oh. The more once I'm shouting, I'm praising God like it will be fight. Mm. So it was so serious that everybody prayed for me my provincial pastor we all pastors came around they did and when he got to a stage somebody now came to me and told me it would take me to um uh, uh, border this place after border after uh, border yeah so kutono 
Uh -huh. So I was prepared. I was ready to go. I said, let me just notify Bemi that I'm going. He said, this thing, this thing will be removed from me. Immediately I called Bemi. I said, look, I'm going to Kuton. He said, Kuton, wait. What are you going there to do? He said, do you know what they do there? I said, I don't. I said, but look, look, I'm tired. I'm tired. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. And this man told me it will be removed. When they get there, they will just, the thing will be removed from me. I said, I want this thing out of my body. So <clears throat> let me now say, mommy, I was prepared. And as I was preparing, taking my clothes from the, from the wardrobe like this, the, the spirit told me, you are going to journey of one return. But still, oh. you know, I did, not, I did not listen. I did not listen. I was, I was tired because I, I could not, it was as if there was no solution. Let me now say, mommy, you are the one that taught us this salvation. You are going to Kuton. What do they do in Kuton? Where do you know they are taking you? He said, look, mommy, go and Satan is after your soul. And you are the one that told us that we should end well. That he said, mommy, even if this thing will kill you, he said, go, he said, we'll bury you. He said, it's better you make it to God and, 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 and remain a Christian than for this thing to meet you in another house. Don't know, that place they are taking you, don't know what they do there. That don't, mommy, don't go. My spirit does not agree with it. He said, I'm coming to Lagos. Don't go, don't go. Okay. What I said, but every night I've been having video. You people left me alone. I'm tired. I, I'm, I don't want to, he now, he now called his pastor that night. They now said, okay, mommy, you are not alone. We will do DJ with you tonight. All of us will pray with you. I said, hey, if you know you will agree with me, I'm tired. I'm the only one fighting this battle. I have done everything I could and nothing was happening. And she now said, mommy, please, I beg you, don't go. Don't go. Don't hand this in you. This is your salvation that you taught us. This is your mm -hmm. thing. Say, don't end this in a place that you say, if it is death, mommy, is it not dead? Are you afraid of death? If it is death, it's a mommy die. Die in Christ than to go. Do you know her voice was the one that changed me? The man that wanted to kill me was already downstairs. So I said, please go. I said, you know, the man said, what happened? I said, no, no, no. I said, I cannot go again. I said, I cannot go again. I said, thank you. I will continue, have a continuity. He said, ah, they will remove it. It will not take a day. They will, I said, no. I said, thank you, thank you. So I just want to praise God this morning that when it was a, a little, a quarter to miss it, God I used my daughter to call me back. And I thank God that I'm still in Christ today. And I give all glory to God that I did not go anywhere more than in, in Christ. Stayed in Christ, I'm still alive today. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Hmm, thank wow. you. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Mr. Thera, you have just encouraged all of us this morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know what anybody is going through. I remember even when you joined that, you know, we take time, we'll pray, and we just thank God, and we pray for permanent healing over Amen. you in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord, because you say, when we glorify you, we glorify your name. Lord, mm -hmm. your daughter has stood. Lord, it has been by your grace. Thank mm -hmm. you for the seed of salvation she planted in our children, which came back to be a blessing to her. Lord Jesus, there's nothing difficult for you to do. We will rejoice over the life of um, Sister Stella in the name of Jesus, that your perfection of our health, your perfection of our mind, your perfection of our call, your perfection of our family, your perfection of everything that concerns her. Ah, Lord, you keep expanding her. You know, it's funny, I was I asked after you some days on the call because you yeah. just keep coming to my mind. It's funny. The Lord just reminded me because I saw you giving a testimony. I didn't know what it was. I knew forgotten until I said, and I saw your aunt. Our ah, Lord, this yeah. testimony will bear more fruits because yeah. of this yeah. testimony. People on this call are strengthened. My generation yeah. will not lose it. My yeah. generation will not give up on God. Yeah. My generation will not turn around because of yeah. pressure in the yeah. name of Jesus. Yeah. Hey, we come against every pain we come against if i said there's perfection in your body every amen. movement amen. seizes everything that the enemy is trying to afflict you seizes you have testified amen. of god helping your heart you have testified of god helping you to forgive you have amen. testified about your children you have testified amen. your health I, yeah, 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 yeah. even though you are still praising even though all you've been through you are still praising i say praise will not cease in your amen. mouth in the name of amen. jesus amen. i agree with my sisters and my amen. brothers this morning in the name of jesus your healing has come. Amen. Your testimony is your look, I your I your I your I your in the name of the like Naomi. You will say the Lord has restored in the name of like Naomi. Your greater days are not behind you. Hey, brother, we are not so controlled. Brother, da 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 ba shikete. Your greater days are right here, right now. In the name of Jesus, I say heavens are open over you. And we are living through to keep. Me kulo produce. 
Jesus, Mando Kuse, Ika, Brende Ida, Tusekia, Datale, Pretiata, Freli Kiki Lusukia, Me Ibri Kulu Prigisu, Indekeke, Vreestikete, every situation, every affliction, Ibitewati Wak, Bele Mapada, in the name of Jesus, anybody born of a woman standing, fighting you. Fight your sin. I pray in the name of Jesus. Today, the Egyptians you saw up until 6.55 a.m. the 19th of May, 2023. Ah, mommy, you will see them no more in the name of Jesus. Oh, you Pharaoh. Oh, you demonic agenda. Oh, you plan of the enemy. Go going back and delay wherever you are coming from. Every generational pattern. Every Every affliction, I say you have come to an end today in the name of Jesus. Ah, this testimony of Jesus will open up more ground. This testimony of Aya, ah, mommy, ministry is just starting. This testimony of Jesus will open up more ground. Ah, this testimony of your life will bring souls in the name of Jesus. I get, I keep seeing, I don't know if you're doing it, going on the street and preaching Jesus. The Jesus is saying, We're not waiting for any platform, you don't need any mic, your life is the mic already. I as you go Amen. around, as Amen. you move around and preach Amen. Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. 34 Amen. years in Christ uh, and some Amen. are just doing two months, three months are tired. But no, Amen. your story will strengthen a generation. Amen. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we Amen. give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, everyone. Thank you Amen. so much. Hallelujah. Sister Timmy, we'll take you briefly before we go this morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, I feel like God is just giving me an opportunity to repent because yesterday when you're taking testimonies, there was a line you uh, you made and um, it was almost like, Are you, don't you think this is a testimony? So it's about my dad. I know I raised a prayer point for him mm-hmm. last weekend. And uh, he's been away from family in the US since, uh, well, for about 11, 13 years. Wow. 13 years now. And um, I see him because I travel. I mean, he's got other children and, you know, my sisters, my brother. Uh, my half siblings, they don't see him. Um, and I'd seen him a few times. I told him, you know, I don't want you to die abroad. You know, come back home. Uh, There's a Yoruba saying, don't let me die naked. And that's what it is like when you actually go away and, and you don't have family and friends around you. Anyway, been telling him, his brother's been telling him since last year to come back. So yesterday when you mentioned the word reuniting families, I thought, hang on. That's what happened. My mom just saw her husband for the first time in 13 years last week. So Wednesday was wow. one, uh, since he returned, um, you know, uh, with my siblings. And I remember as we prepared for his return and what mom said, I just said now, um, sort of reaffirms what I thought. Before his return, my siblings and I were praying with mommy, just praying, 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 really pr- like, like, as I stood there, I said, man, you do yourself a great disservice if you don't raise your children in the Lord. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, sowing the seed of raising your children, not by mouth, not by chasing them to church, but really exemplifying and living Christ. It's for you. You reap the harvest. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like when mm-hmm. you're ill in your old age, when anything happens in your old age, it's these children that you raise in the way of the Lord Man. that will stay. And, you know, so that came to me and what mommy Stella just said now, literally just reaffirmed that. I just thought to confirm and mention that. And may God give us grace as parents in this generation to do it right you know, to raise these children for the Lord, uh, not just because of what we'll gain from it, although there is a harvest that we will enjoy, but also more that they can, you know, see the kingdom. The other thing I want to do, my testimony of Jesus, and I was saying this to my friend yesterday, that's why I knew I had to raise up my hand. Uh, the past three years, 2020, 2021, 2022, and now I'm 2023, um, even though, if I, I, my God, I would have believed God that I've been married in these four years. And I said to her, I said, you know what? My status may not have changed in terms of my single to marriage, but oh my God, these four years have been the most painful, but the most incredible. Like God Mm -hmm. has, oh God, oh God, oh God. Like God went through extreme lengths last year to break a a bondage in my mind. Mm. And when I think about the extent at which God went, like the things he did, I'm like, God loves me. They are pro- like, I remember last year though, and Pia, you remember this, feeling mm. angry, feeling upset, crying like, God, what is it? La, la, la. And I stay here now this year and I'm like, ah, that was love. Hell, that was love. Wait, Come that on. was God saying, Aniko, yeah, mama. to the ends of the earth, have we saved you, say. 
I will. So for salvation, for God not giving up on me, you know, um, even in business, as simple as, you know, uh, breaking the mindset of being stuck in one idea, you know, and introducing flexibility, as simple as it sounds. In my mind, I'm Thank doing you, it the way Jesus. God wants to do it. One of my big uncles, you know, like a mentor, sent me a message when he saw something on my, on my business page. He said, said, wow, seven years later. And I could only respond in tears because he, I know what he was saying. But I told you this thing seven years ago. How mm. be it we're just getting here now? And I had to say to my friend, man, what the heck stood in my mind? What, what manner of mind bondage and, and inflexibility it is, is it that it didn't matter who spoke to me, I didn't see it. But when God stepped in last year, when I turned 40, I, yesterday I was like, God, that was your faithfulness. That was your love. And so, yeah, that's my testimony of Jesus. I could go on wow. and on and on. And that just Thank one you, area, Jesus. I can say that people of God, it might be painful. Though. You think God hates you. Like I remember being in a prayer meeting, Joyce, you can you can testify to this. And I they were saying, what I said, what the, I, I was ah, even I was like, what? <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was, I was combusting, you know. But I stay here, look at it yesterday, and I said, that was the greatest demonstration of love. Thank you, Jesus. You know, that God does not leave us to ourselves. Ah, is love. And you kind of when you think about it properly and you have perspective oh people of god perspective so when pi said bless no perspective when you realize me the billions of people you will come chasing after me so that song I, 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 you I, I, will I, chase I, after me. you will you will live 99 you will run up you will cross god that's love that i'm a, uh, a husband can't even do that for me so come yes on. whilst marital status might now have changed I have experienced an undying love, an unfaithful love in God's pursuit to get me and align me to his perfect will. I will stop Amen. here. <laughs> Amen. I love it. I love it. You know, I'm just grateful to God for what he's doing in our lives on this call because, you see, he's not just, he can't just be a testimony of things. He can't just be a testimony of changes of status, changes of life, change of job. Your salvation is a testimony. I love that phrase. That was love. It might have been painful. That was love. Like love, fighting for you, fighting for your son, breaking you. I said, I love what Pastor Shekou said, disappointing the flesh. Every time, ah, we give God praise. He will, I have not heard your voice in this year. So I'm going to allow you to do this. Okay. Go ahead. Good morning, Good morning KI. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I just want to thank God. I while mommy was sharing her testimony, I was literally crying and shaking, and I didn't know why. But um, I want to thank God because you know God, God, God took me through a season of obscurity. I'm usually used to being seen, known, heard, and all of that. And in my church, there was reshuffling in leadership, reshuffling, you know, and even coming to prayer, he just wouldn't allow me to be out and sing like I'd always used to. And I didn't realize that, you know, I had a problem. <laughs> and wow. when he started to deal with me, I think I became, I started throwing silent tantrums and started becoming a frustrated mother, wife, and, you know, just name it, you know, he, he, he literally allowed me to go through the season. And even in my business, you know, last year I tried to make the business work. Things were not just working. I got to just spent money, paid, did all those sorts. It didn't work. And then last year, he just told me, I want you to pray for the nation. So every morning at 4 30 a.m., I wake up and I pray. Sometimes I'm the only one. And I'm just like, what was all this? You know, right now we're, we're, we're about 165, the 65th, you know, at the point I stopped because I was tired. But, you know, I went back just trying to get approval and all long story. But anyway, um, yes, so, so, I got a coach because I just told God, if this business thing is not working, let me just go back to work. I went back to work. That one still had its own challenges. So between when I, I, I left the other job and, you know, till now, I've just been like, I've just been floating. I know God loves me. I know he's good, but it doesn't seem to add up or it didn't seem to add up, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, he wouldn't allow me to talk as many people as you want to. He wants to process with you. And the processing was not just processing because I couldn't understand that season, you know, of life and, and that phase. But, you know, in all of this, you know, um, to the glory of God, I'm back with doing my challenges that I used to do, um, which started last week. God gave me a coach that I'm not paying a dime for. Wow. Father, Lord, we thank you. I don't know if there's anybody on this call 
if you feel this way, like we've all described, painful, you don't understand if it's God, can you just raise your hand? Let's pray before we go this morning. Just raise your hand, there is no shame. You're going to tell me you don't understand, you are not sure, you feel very it's opposite of anything you understand. God, you are borderline, like you say, tantrum. You are like, God, I beg, what is this? You know, <laughs> I can't wait for to lose share testimony next month because, <laughs> wow, it's just been crazy. But when the Lord turned it around, my God. So I'm going to pray for you before he will finish his testimony. So Father Lord, we thank you for the ants here. The power of testimony is a prophecy from um Stasella's testimony to Statemi to that he will, you know, and we draw strength from Statella that it wasn't because God solved the problem. That was why she came back. Um, Stella remained even when she didn't understand. Thank God for the right counsel. Thank God for the right people. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I release the word of encouragement to everyone. I release a word of strength and I give, release the gift of perspective and the anointing of break, breakthrough. I release the anointing of breakthrough every, over everyone raising their hands and anyone that is praying in this prayer. And I pray in the name of Jesus, there is an anointing to break through. There's an anointing to go through to break through in the name of Jesus. And I also pray for everyone, the gift of perspective. I kid you not, I wish there was a way I can explain it. You know, Kik, when Sakika was saying to me on Saturday, P.I. says there's just a way God, you process with God. It's so beautiful. I realize it's a grace. I release it over everyone. You will process with God. You'll find perspective. You'll find understanding. And from there, you find strength to navigate this in Jesus' name. Amen. Return with your testimonies and we, we enter the season of joy. You know, waiting for it to change, to have joy. Is not really joy. Joy is in spite of what you're going through. You cannot be shaken. You cannot be moved in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Or in Jesus' precious name of prayer. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Sister Iwo, can you complete your testimony? All right, thank you, P.I. I'm not sure why I stopped. You um, said you got a coach but, that wasn't collecting a dime. Yes, yeah, so, and then I got another coach who said, God says, you know, um, I should do your branding absolutely free. And I know how much he charges. So I just want to thank God for bringing me to the place where, you know, he's, he's starting with me again. And I'm really grateful. Second testimony for my son. I want to thank God for preserving his life. On the early hours of Sunday morning, I just opened my eyes and it was just strange. And then my eyes were open and I was wondering, okay, so why am I awake? I just felt to pray. While I was praying, I felt a huge urge to just pray protection over the family. So I mentioned everybody played the blood and that was it. On Tuesday, my son had, um, he just felt warm, you know, and uh, usually he would sleep all day and eat. But this time around, he kept crying and crying, you know, and it was just strange. So we fed him, we took him for observation, gave him medication and all of that. By Wednesday night, he was unusually hot. And I told my husband, I don't feel, I just felt uneasy in my spirit. So we took him back. And they said, okay, let's give him an injection. It will calm his, his temperature because they felt that if it's still hot like this, then it's not good. So they gave him injection that all through the night he will sleep. I had not been able to sleep for, you know, for, for almost two nights. So I said, okay, let me sleep well this night. So I put him by my side and I slept by his side to so say, at least we'll sleep together. In less than one hour, my son, he was still cold, not hot. He was, it was as if he was electrified and you know, wow. before he even jumped out of the bed, I was already up, you know, and his tongue was sticking out of his mouth. His hands oh, wow. were bent in one very funny mm -hmm. way. I jacked him up from the bed, took him to the parlor. I just, because at first I wanted to, you know, scream and I felt a restraint in my spirit. If you do that, you will lose this. So I sat down and my husband was in, you know, got the anointing oil. We were trying to sprinkle, you know, when you sprinkle water on somebody to try to revive them, that didn't work. So he anointed him. I would just started to pray in tongues. I kept calling my son for over five minutes. His eyes were just rolling. <laughs> I was like, Lord, <laughs> this one. I would just kept praying and praying. And I called, I kept calling and called, called his pet name, called his name, called all his names, calling, 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 calling. And after about five minutes, you know, he looked at me. I said, Can you hear me? He shook. He said, I said, hey, Tell mommy, can you hear mommy? You know, he now said, Yes. You know, so I just want to thank God. Although that night he was still hot, but I thank God. I said yesterday morning, immediately he opened his eyes. He was back to the sun that I know. 
talking happily yeah. and I just want to bless God, you know, for sparing, you know, the life of my son. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we thank you for this testimony. We thank you for perfection. We thank you for everyone. It's like we came with our, even though we're praising testimony, even though we're navigating testimony, I thank you for the gift of perspective. I thank you that people will stop wrestling with you and enter your rest. I thank you because we begin to see the thing. I There's somebody here. You're trying hard, so hard to get out of something. And I feel a very strong restraint to tell you, a very strong nudge to say to you, it may not apply to everybody. Please make sure this is, you go back to God and pray about it, please. You know, um, you and it's not a license to remain in what God wants to deliver you for that person. You will know if this is you, you'll go back and pray. And God is saying, Have I not brought you here? I don't know who you are. You're trying so hard. And I feel like he's actually fighting God. You're trying to get out of something God is trying to deliver you. Go try to, you're going to get out of something God has created to deliver you from yourself, to deliver you from something. Mm. And he said, if you look back, it might begin to be a pattern in your life. Honestly, look back and ask God for perspective. And the Lord God will help you in the name of Jesus. So there is a wisdom for you to navigate whatever it is that is happening. And the Lord will strengthen us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, take the word, go to God, pray, and seek counsel. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. God bless you. Have a great day. Let's keep praying for when friends pray. It's tomorrow. We're praying 6 p.m. for as many that can join us, the same link as we pray and just celebrate God. Remember, you can stream. Um, when friends pray, that's the when friends pray for this quarter. Amen. Praise God. The next when friends pray is in Abuja. And uh, we trust God for his faithfulness. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.